Hello, today I will show you how to turn your uh, Windows 7 PC into a, make it look like a Mac. Okay, um, first thing you're going to do is, hold up here, go to a website called DeviantArt.com. Next, you're going to go to the customization. Second, you're going to go down, scroll down, to see skins and themes. Now, they do have themes for Vista and XP, but since I'm running on the Windows 7 operating system, I'll just show you for Windows 7. You go to scroll down, it'll say Windows Utilities. If you need XP Utilities or uh, Themes, just go to Windows Utilities. If you need 7, it says 7. Vista's right there. Okay, so you're going to click on Windows 7. You're going to go to the search bar. You're going to click Search Mac. That's all you got to do. Click Go. Now, there are a few, but I'll show you the best. I use this, I'm using the right now the Snow Leopard for Windows 7. I would use that one. All you gotta do is, if you're downloading another theme, just look on here. Works fine on the 64-bit, especially built for 32-bit systems. So, Snow Leopard theme, yeah. Okay, so you're gonna click Download. It'll pop. You need WinRAR or something to open up a dot .zip or a dot .rar. Okay, so you're gonna click. You're gonna open it up with WinRAR or whatever. I'm just gonna cancel it. Or actually, yeah, I'll just download it. Doesn't matter. Okay, so it'll say open with. You click OK. It's gonna download. Say all files are finished downloading. I'll just click this. Okay, so you have this. Double click on the folder. Click on themes. And then it'll have the theme. And the basic theme. Okay, now you're going to close. Uh, not exit out, but you're going to um, minimize it. You're going to go to Windows Explorer. And this is where it gets confusing, or where I had the problems. I'm not going to say that you guys had problems. Okay, so you're going to click on, um, you're going to go down to your hard drive, click on that, go to Windows, and scroll down until you see Resources. Once you see Resources, uh, you're going to double click on that, right here. Then you can go to click on themes. Don't worry about ease of access themes. Um, okay, right here you got. Hey, here's all my themes. Um, here's the Snow Leopard basic and stuff. You're gonna click on your WinRAR folder. What you're gonna do is just take your thing, drag it up, and drop it. I'm not gonna do it because. I'm just going to click cancel because I already have it. See, it's going to just come up with this. So You just go through that, and then what you're going to do is you're going to exit out. And I'll just change my theme as I do this. Okay, right-click on the desktop. Personalize. And then you're going to go and click on it. And once you do that, you have changed your theme to look look like um, if you got, I, I don't change this to where it's on the left, because I don't like Mac that much to where I would change it to that. So, I will making, I will be making part two and maybe part three. Part two will probably be the cursor or the dock. 
Third will be probably be the dock, because the cursor is really easy. I'll just post a link on the cursor, and I won't even talk on that, because that's easy. This, how it gets the folder to make it look like that, I will not show you how to do that, because you need, like, a thing there. And one thing I forgot is you need a theme patcher. Uh, you need to patch up the files. I will put a link in the description for the universal theme patcher. All you gotta do is click patch for both of them. You gotta run the install. Uh, it'll come up with this thing. It'll say if you have like a 30, or uh, you guys would know the times 86 is 32 bit and the you know, times 64 is 64 bit. So once you click on that, it should work. Uh, you patch them. And then you try to put the files in. I don't know how you would change all that. So, and also I'll show you when you get the dock how to change all these icon colors. Like or the the picture of them. See, like Mozilla has a different picture. The control panel. This is really iTunes. Um, these things. So thank you for my first tutorial, my part one tutorial on how to make your computer look like a Mac.